so this is my voice again uh, the audio in this video from the GoPro was not right there's something going on or was going on and caused it to flake out so maybe a good video for this to happen on because I think there's quite a few lessons learned on this outing it's an adventure for sure uh, for me and I hope you enjoy it um, I'm biking to my favorite spot got the kayak in tow uh, in a little bit here you'll see the setup the trailer and the kayak and the bike um, I give a little more insight and into how I set up the equipment uh, to get out in the water no big surprises for folks who know what they're doing but for anyone new to see what goes into the sausage um, so the water is up pretty high which you'll see uh, if you've watched my other two kayak videos you'll see maybe just how much higher and the current is pretty strong this is after some heavy rains so this was a bit of a daunting task I was foolish enough to think I could paddle upstream mm. even in the uh, uh, really strong current and if you watch you'll see how wrong I was uh, and you get to see uh, see me go on the drink again on this one still a pretty picturesque setting water levels up a few feet and moving pretty fast over this little rapids area as I park my bike um, start to uh, take the kayak out and get ready my gear ready and trying to give you a good view still so I think the one important lesson here um, I decided to walk in the river a little bit first and then after my first run I decided to walk upstream and it was a very interesting and telling because I got to feel just how um, the current hits the watercraft as I was holding the boat in one hand and the oar in the other or paddle in the other so um, there's my setup kayak on the old kids trailer that's been modified just bungee it on for now I've got a counterweight on the bottom so this thing sticks up at least eight feet so it looks kind of silly coming down the trail but it works so far see the weight in the front there because a 10 foot kayak tends to you know uh, right itself get my phone as I get ready to wade out test myself in these um, the swollen river Cuyahoga may be crooked but it's still mighty when things 
things come in the watershed. So normally this water is about a foot, a foot and a half, maybe two feet. So that's just shallower. Deep. Much easier to walk in. A bit muddy here. And this is normally the calm area, so I'm trying to get a gauge for so if I can even attempt to paddle in the down. upstream direction on the up calmer side of the when it's like this river. scooting happen in there. Basically putting my foot out to push myself. I'm also testing out new aqua shoes. facilitate river walking, which definitely comes into play on this one. It did well. And this is an area I usually can't even paddle over because there are rocks popping up here. But it's just enough to um, kind of navigate until I hit the actual current on the other side of this little island and it takes me. It's really shallow here. So I can but I you can get a sense here how strong that water is. And that's where things go. And the depth here, ooh, almost lost it. The depth here is only a few feet. I mean, you can stand in this. freaked out when I decided to make my first exit, um, really just kind of charging for the right side as you let the current take you. I just didn't want to go down stream much further, farther away from my bike and whatnot, because um, I'd have to do some shuttling. So I was happy to be able to make this quick exit. And at this point, I reassess what I'm up to, and I decide I'm going to walk back up and drag the kayak to the river and see if I can better understand. And here's my first person view. I feel like a bit of a river warrior. My paddle weapon on the left, and my River Torrent. Yeah, my river shoes are working. They are. I'm not feeling the really sharp rocks. I'm not slipping too much. Sometimes. Just to feel for 
horses. All right, play. You know how good you need to be able to paddle to overcome or at least manipulate those horses for your own benefit. There's a lot of silt here. So the thought here was to get a little further past my little peninsula, underwater peninsula where the water's calm and see if I could make a run of it upstream. is a bit extreme, I guess, but it's not deep water, that's the saving situation there. Here I slip. <laughs> Take on more water, and I think I decided at that point I need to get over to the shore and just empty the boat. You gotta respect it. And that's really it. Um, you get to see here just how much water was. I mean, you saw the water go in, but just how much um, logo. It's a nice view still. But uh, here you go the tipping. with a lot of it that's no, no, no. But it's heavy so you add that to your own weight and you get a bog down vessel there it is it's like trying to float in a kiddie pool and I forgot to zip up so my registration laminated. Got a little logged there. But that's what you're up against. Uh, if you're gonna kayak and if you're gonna do anything even semi-extreme, it's what you're up against. Be ready for it. Practice. Enjoy.